Hey guys, this is what you're looking at, and today we got the review on the e aiming aimpoint red dot sight. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, guys, just going on with this video now for some of the straightforward information about the sight itself. Uh, the company who makes it is called e aiming, to my knowledge, a much you know newer sight. They make models after you know what other companies make, so essentially, they're kind of like a rebrand, kind of not, but uh. Essentially, they just get you a lot of nice products that are actually really good quality at a really good price. Uh, example is this site right here. This aim point is modeled after an M3, or this E aiming aim point is modeled after the M3 configuration, and it is $29.60 on tiger111hk.com. So, pretty good price. Let's go on to talk a little bit more about the scope itself now. Okay guys, so if you're the gearheads out there or just you in general just want to know all the specifications of the scope itself, here we go. We're going to start off with the weight using my half kilogram scale. Going by grams, it is 254.4 grams and then changing that to ounces, it is 8.97 ounces. So right over half a pound, you know, a very light sight, keeping in mind this is still a full metal sight and not that a very good quality full metal sight. Moving away from the weight of the sight itself and moving more on to the actual length, the scope itself is right at 12.4 centimeters long from lens cap to lens cap, which roughly comes out to 4.88 inches. And of course, since this is a red dot, I know I called it a scope earlier in the video, there's no magnification to it. But a cool thing to that is that there is three different types of red dots on this scope. If you look at it, we got red, that's off red, we got blue, indicated by the blue B, and then we also have green, indicated by the green G. And for each color, you get three settings. You get a one, two, and three brightness. So that's really cool. That gets you a lot of modularity for this site. If you like different colors, um, if you play in a really bright environment or a really dark environment, it gives you the option of putting it on different settings. And um, as far as battery, uh, the website says this takes two LR44 batteries, but from further inspection, this does just take one 2032 battery, which is actually kind of relieving as, you know, it is actually easier to find the disc batteries more than the LR44 batteries. And the 2032, I believe they're like a whopping $4 a piece, but they have a nice battery life, at least in this scope. I left this scope on on accident overnight for three days, and I didn't realize it till today when I started making the review and it still is on. So I guess that's really cool. I don't know how much battery life I have left, but um, from a personal experience, I'll let you know you have at least, you know, <laughs> easily 85 hours of battery life is what I've probably put through, through those three days and then from the times I've used it before that. So overall, a really good scope. Let's uh, move on to talking about the actual build quality itself. Okay guys, so moving on to talking about the build quality itself, I got to admit, when Tiger111HK sent me a site that was listed for 29 bucks, I was actually expecting to be getting a plastic site, and I knew the mount was going to be metal, but I was expecting to get a plastic site. So I got to admit, when I received this scope, you know, it's matte black finish and the uh, rubberized covers, which are plastic, but the rest being matte black, you know, a some sort of metal, this actually feels like a really nice scope. Yeah, the scope mount itself, you can kind of tell it has its imperfections, but that's like on the mounting part where you see it easily scratching. What I find cool is if you scratch it on the actual top of the scope, which could easily happen if you're playing a woodland game, let's say boom. That is a really nasty scratch. You think that's a scratch? You know, put a little spit on your hands or water, anything, rubs right off. So that's pretty cool. Let's just know that this, this scope is, you know, of decent quality. Also, if you're looking for any other trades on this scope, it says Comp M3 4MOA and then some type of serial number which is probably not specific. And then flipping over, we can vaguely see aim point under where the mount is. So that's kind of a weird position to put it because you won't be able to see it on the site itself. But hey, maybe it was strategically put there. I don't know. Okay guys, so the first gun I'm showing you here with this M3 E aiming red dot is the Lancer Tactical Mark 18. You just give it a simple setup on the Mark 18 like this, throwing on a simple grip and then throwing on the sight, it definitely has its spot here. Very good quality sight, even though it's on a cheaper gun, it looks great. 
Okay guys, so the second gun I got it mounted up here is the Macro 9. Overall, gun looks really nice with this aim point style sight on the front of the gun. Usually you would see these mounted over by the receiver, but even on the front with a cantilever mount pushing up about an inch and three quarters up into the air, it definitely has its place on this rail. Okay guys, so stretching out as far as I can for my backdrop, we have my Ruger 1022. As you see, this is a real gun, already safety checked, but um, even throwing this airsoft specific sight, I would want to say, has a really nice look to it. It looks a little bit weirder compared to putting it on an M4 or whatever, but it's got a great height for the cheek weld, and um, red dots are a really good option for Rugers, and since they've got low recoils, so you could pump multiple rounds downrange, kind of like you can with an airsoft gun. So um, overall, it's just a great sight, and as I said for the Macronon in the M4, it's just a versatile sight. So who knows, I might do a stress test on this sight in the future for my Witcher Vlogs channel, where I would shoot this on a 1022. Okay guys, so in conclusion, I think for, you know, I know I keep saying $29.60, this is a great buy, but I would even say for $40 to $50, this sight is still going to be a great buy. Overall build quality is great. Um, only thing I can really complain about the build quality doesn't even have to do with the scope, it's the front lens cover. It likes to move around a lot. Um, I really don't like that. It closes, so I'm fine with it. But I'd like it to stay open to the top when I open it. Only one I would have liked to see to move would have been the back one. That way I could keep both eyes open when I'm looking down and having the other one to block my left eye when I'm aiming down with my right but it doesn't even rotate. So the lens covers in my mind are the only downfall to this sight. But besides that, everything is really nice. You got the easy battery location right here and great battery availability with a 2032 style battery. A great battery life, great build quality, scratch resistant and matte black finish on the scope itself. Um, a great mount, a great height for the mount for any rail system, for any cheek weld. So, um, Overall, this is a battle ready and soon to be battle proven sight for really any airsoft gun and maybe even some 22 long rifles. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my review on this site. Make sure to go to Tiger111HK to the link below to purchase this site. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This has been a What You're Looking At production and I'm out.